was there. It's me, 99. Let me in. I'm sorry, 99, but I can't let you in until you prove. Hey, everybody, it's Aunt BB. Today is Saturday, September 15th, 2018, and Aunt BB is putting out on a Saturday night. Putting out a video, rather. So you can't say Aunt BB. You can't say Aunt BB don't put out because I'm putting out tonight. Anyway, uh, so uh, I'm playing this uh, little clip from the 19th, the original old school uh, Get Smart, the original TV series from the 1960s. Now, they did a movie remake uh, a few years ago, but I, I like the original. It was a Mel Brooks production, so it was sort of a... Uh, satire or parody of uh i guess the james bond movies i think and uh so there's a character uh um uh it was a woman the partner of uh, this is agent 86 so agent yeah here we go so uh don adams played agent 86 and then um, Barbara Felton played Agent 99. And I showed you this clip because Aunt Bibi's got a milestone that she's celebrating this evening. Yes, sir. Aunt Bibi hit 100 subscribers yesterday. And uh, so Aunt Bibi has hit the Benjamins, has hit a C note. I've got 100 subs. No, I might lose some. A lot of times when I put out a video, I lose some subs, I gain a few, so, but I did hit that milestone. So that's a, that's a pretty good mark. I only started this channel in May. I can't remember if it was mid or late May. Uh, yeah, probably around mid-May, I forget. Anyway, I've hit 100, and that's my little celebration. So I'm doing a follow-up to my Jamal Thomas video. This video here, uh, I called it Jamal Thomas Regresso Soap Dish Space, again, Space Cadet. So I'm gonna talk about Jamal Thomas again, but I want to talk about him in connection with, uh, yeah, Stick Sex and Hammer 666. Uh, and I called, I've done quite a few videos about him um, I think maybe eight. Yeah, I did one. Look, there are three right here, but I did some more in the past. But I think I'm t up to around eight videos that I've done. So he goes, so his real name is Tara Warwick. And his brand is Stick Sex and Hammer 666. But he's got a lot of other names. Um, Dr. Satan, Sticky Buns. Um, and here is calling him Shithead 666. Here I called him Dr. Satan 666. But there's a new name for him now. It's Tranny Stick 666. And I have, a get, have to give a little shout out uh, to someone on Twitter who follows me and watches my channel. And, uh, so, uh, Abdul Hussein, I always show you Abdul Hussein's, uh, main Twitter account. So Abdul Hussein suggested that name to me, Tranny Stick 666, and also, uh, suggested, uh, gave me another suggestion, and I'll talk about that in just a moment, but, uh, Abdul Hussein is, uh, is a dude you know, so forget about the, the pretty girl pictures here. I guess he prefers to look at pictures of pretty girls rather than his own, his own face. And I don't, that's fine. Um, cause I don't like putting my, I don't have my, I don't have my photo on my Twitter account either. So Abdul Hussain is a young Bangladeshi British Muslim uh, in, uh, in the UK. And, uh, I, uh, Abdul Hussain helps me with tech stuff. And, uh, so 
I've grown very attached to Abdul Hussein, and I call, I think of Abdul Hussein as um, the Bangladeshi British Muslim son I never had. Yeah. So anyway, Abdul Hussein gave me an idea for uh, the game I like to play, which is um, who did it better. So Abdul Hussein loves this game. And I think he's played it on Twitter himself, at least once, uh, that I've seen. And he suggested this to me since I was going to do a video about both Jamal, or uh, that I was going to do a video connecting Jamal to, uh, I'll call him now, Tranny Stick 666. Okay, so we're going to play Who Did It Better? So are you ready? Here we go. Okay, so who did it better? Uh, Tranny Stick 666. Now this is, uh, yeah, this is Dr. Satan himself. See, he's a cross-dresser. So that's the theme. Cross-dressing, cross-dresser. So here he is, dressed as a woman. All made up as a woman. So who did it better? Tranny stick 666, you can vote in the comment section, or Robin Williams as Mrs. Doubtfire. So who did it better? Now remember, it's cross-dressing. Who was the better cross-dresser? Uh, Robin Williams and the movie Mrs. Doubtfire, or Tranny stick 666. Okay, you can vote in the comments. So that's the little game. Uh, sorry, let's go back here. So, anyway, so as I said, I'm just doing a little follow-up uh, video about Jamal, Jamal Thomas here. And uh, my last video was this one, Jamal Thomas Regressive Soap Dish Space, Space Cadet. And I realized after I did that video that there's something about him that reminds me of Tranny Stick 666. They are both obsessed with their brand. Yeah. So, um, Jamal, uh, so here's Jamal's channel. Now, he and Tranny Stick 666 are very, very concerned about their brand and growing and expanding their channel and their subs and their views. And uh, their likes and shares and and money and money, yeah, money. So Jamal actually has a has a much smaller channel, but he his his ego is comparable to Tranny Sticks's. So here's Tranny Sticks's channel. Now he has um over 280,000 subscribers now and Jamal only has Jamal only has uh, a little over 14,000 um, but Jamal has an enormous ego and it really he acts as though he's got a channel the size of of tranny sticks and yeah, they don't take, and neither one of them takes um, criticism very well either. That's another thing. So on Twitter, uh, Tranny Sticks, he blocked me. He's blocked both of my Twitter accounts. You know, you just criticize him a little bit and yeah, you're gone. You're gone. You're blocked. And the same thing happened to me with Jamal Thomas. Jamal Thomas blocked me on Twitter too. I mean, he flipped out. He flipped out that I was criticizing him on Twitter. And then he really flipped out when I did this video. Yeah. I mean, it was, it was epic. The meltdown was epic. And then he blocked me. I'll show you a little bit. Um, I will go into this uh, more in another video, but it was really quite funny. And if you want to see some of the uh, uh, the temper tantrum that Jamal threw, um, watch um, uh, Scott Creighton's uh, 
uh, video. Um, I will put the link in the show notes. So he did a very funny video about how Jamal um, flipped out and threw a temper tantrum uh, on Twitter and then blocked both of us. He blocked both of us uh, right after that. And um, so you can see these are, I retweeted uh, Jamal, some, some of Jamal's tweets and criticized him. And you can see the tweets aren't available and that shows you I've been blocked. So there's, this started on September 12th. And uh, so, yeah, I'm blocked. And I was criticizing his videos. Yeah, and I'm blocked. And then, yeah, and then, and then he really, yeah, he got very upset with um, Scott's uh, videos. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so he blocked Scott too. And he gave us names. I'm very proud. I outrank Scott now. I am uh, called, uh, Jamal calls me random idiot one and Scott is random idiot two. And when he flipped out, it's really hilarious, but I'll show this another video, but you can see it in Scott's video. It's hilarious. Um, so he was comparing Scott and me to a pair of dogs. Yeah, yappy dogs or um, a, a pair of invertebrates. I think Scott was, I forget. One of us was a caterpillar and the other was a craven issue something. <laughs> he posted photos of uh, squids or I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, he, you know, so we're both black. <laughs> we're both black. Anyway, so Jamal, neither Jamal nor uh, training sticks can take criticism. And I actually, I, I guess Jamal was a little bit better, just a little bit, maybe. But um, they are very thin skinned. <laughs> they can't handle it. Um, so there's a lot of similarities between, uh, Jamal and Tranny Sticks. Now, the other thing, their channels, uh, so Tranny Sticks, he likes to pretend he's anti-establishment and he just appeals to the Trump crowd and the Trump, uh, the Trump crowd, they think that, uh, President Trump is anti-establishment and uh trump he did campaign that way as a populist but as a president he's fallen right in line with uh the establishment neocon neoliberal agenda which is about regime change and uh privatizing the government and open borders and um <clears throat> deregulation and so you know trump is he's really uh following the trend of all of his predecessors since uh reagan and but what's ridiculous is um tranny sticks he acts like he's uh he's different and trump's different and uh you know it's just ridiculous because he will uh, Tranny Sticks acts as though he's anti-war, but, you know, he supports anything that Trump does. He doesn't think Trump can do any, can do any wrong. And he, he's so ignorant. He, Tranny Sticks is so politically ignorant that, um, oh, I saw this video. So this uh, video is the Koch's Fund and Open Border Super PAC, a.k.a. I don't know why he says AKA, also known as. You know, that's how stupid he, he doesn't even know what AKA stands for. AKA, <laughs> I told, I told, whoops, anyway, hang on. I told you neocons were identical to neolibs. So this fucking moron, this moron, he thinks, I know, I know, I, I've listened to enough of them. I know what he thinks. Well, he always gets neoliberal wrong. Uh, I think a lot of times, and I've heard a lot of people, so many people think new, neoliberals are like uh, the new Democrats, and, you know, when uh, Bill Clinton moved the Democratic Party to the right. 
So they think uh, neoliberals are like the uh, corporate establishment liberals in the Democratic Party. And then this idiot, I know damn well, he doesn't know what neoconservative means. So I know this idiot, he thinks that neoconservatives are on the right and um, establishment, right? Uh, that they're, uh, yeah. So he, he thinks the neoconservatives would be like the establishment GOP and the neoliberals would be the establishment Democrats. And um, so, you know, it's kind of twisted in a way. He's kind of right about the open borders thing, you know, both left and right, the establishment. Yeah, they want open borders. Um, anyway, but this is what an idiot is. So he pretends he's anti-establishment and that Trump is anti-establishment and Trump can do no wrong. Trump's not resp responsible for anything bad. You know, there's nothing bad coming out of the Trump administration. If there is, it's not Trump's fault. And this reminds me, so I would call Sticks, he's sort of, he's controlled opposition. Yeah. And he's kind of a sheepdog because uh, he might claim that he's like libertarian or something, but you know, that's basically Republican. So he just, he's happy to see the Democrats fail is, would be his main theme, I guess, in his videos. Anyway, so this reminds me a lot of Jamal Thomas. Now, Jamal Thomas, I kind of, uh, oh, I have to tell you, I've gotten some criticism about critics. Uh, yeah, people didn't like, um, they did not like my Jamal Thomas video because so many people still think, you know, Jamal's a good dude and he's, he's progressive and he's a socialist and, you know, he's one of the good guys on the left, uh, -uh. you know, because he's pushing, you know, he's pushing regime change and remaking the Middle East. You know, he did that disgraceful video. You know, I'll, I'll put the links in the show notes to um, the videos that um, Scott Scott did on his Church Dog 42 channel about Jamal. So Jamal, you know, Jamal just gets basic facts wrong, but he was pushing uh, the greater Kurdistan agenda, which is remaking regime change and remaking the Middle East for the uh, the neolibs and um, yeah, neoconservatives, neoliberals. Um, and uh, the other thing, the, see, the other video was about Saudi Arabia and he, how many things he got wrong about Saudi Arabia. And, you know, he, Oh yeah, Jamal, just like Tranny Sticks, Jamal believes the 9-11 story that Saudi Arabia, Saudis were responsible for the attacks on 9-11. And that's, there's another, you know, there, these guys do not stray really much from the establishment agenda, really. And that's the similarity that I see between them. So Jamal, the other thing is Jamal, he will talk about su supposedly progressive Democratic Party candidates. Yeah. So, you know, Jamal has done, yeah, he talks a lot about, still about the Democratic Party, but he also buys the, the bullshit that they're still, I guess he still buys into the Dem Enter. Yeah. So he was... Uh, Jamal, I think of him as he's still sort of a sheepdog and, uh, or a controlled opposition. So he still thinks that it's possible to get progressives elected from the Democratic Party. And, um, yeah, he was big. He, he turned off a lot of people because he, um, he was still a big fan of Bernie Sanders and he was, oh, I remember him cheering. He was doing this, yay, when Bernie announced that he wanted to run in 2020. And uh, the other thing is he talks a lot about uh, the fake alternate media. He still thinks, I, I don't know, I might be wrong about this. He still thinks that... Uh, the Young Turks are still credible. 
Um, so he follows what's going on with the Young Turks. I don't know. I might be wrong. You can correct me if I'm wrong about that. But um, and here he's talking about Sam Cedar is just sort of Sam Cedar. Uh, he's on MSNBC. He's he has the Minority Report. So he was a Hillary Clinton supporter. And he's not really alternate media. He's not really alt media. He's just establishment with a different face. So this is a lot of the uh, alternative or alt, alt media or alternate media. They want to, their real goal is to get back into mainstream media or get into mainstream media. That's their goal. And so Jamal is very, I don't know. So Jamal and, and Tranny Sticks, they're both very ambitious, you know, and they're very sensitive about the band and they don't take criticism well at all. So that's the uh, similarity that I've seen between the two of them. And uh, so, yeah, it's interesting. I got a lot of criticism for that Jamal video. And there are people saying, oh, you shouldn't be criticizing anyone on the left. Well, that's not right. If somebody on the left, left is pushing uh, the neoconservative agenda and the 9-11 myth, yeah, you got to call them out. I, just, I think that's cult-like thinking. When people say that, and this uh, one person in particular identifies as an anarchist socialist and also uh, doesn't understand neoliberalism. And um, this person actually supports open borders, which I don't know, it's kind of strange for someone, an anarchist socialist uh, to be promoting a policy that the Democratic Party really wants. And, and this person did not understand what neoliberalism was. I was arguing with him and he said uh, that neoliberals want free trade, but not open borders. And I had to explain to him, well, open borders is part of free trade because uh, free trade, they want uh, the free flow of cheap labor into the country. So, um, I mean, if you think that Jamal really is not, I don't really think of him as progressive when he's pushing, you know, establishment talking points and the 9-11 myth and, you know, regime change and remaking the Middle East. Um, that's not a progressive. That's not, he's, he's become increasingly fake left, really. Um, yeah. Jamal is fake left. And uh, actually, so is Dr. Satan. He used to be a liberal. He's, he's classic condescending liberal, uh, corporate Democrat, really. And he still, you know, he promotes the neoliberal agenda when he's talking about regime change and criticizing Venezuela. And so this is... This is the similarity. This is the similarity I see between these two YouTubers. Now, Jamal's channel is much, much smaller, um, but he's very ambitious. He would like it to be much bigger than it is. And I think maybe I suspect maybe he's bought some of these subscribers. Uh, there are websites where you can buy. If you have a YouTube channel, you can buy subscri uh, subscribers. I guess they create fake accounts or something. I don't know how they do it. And I think uh, Tranny Sticks does the same thing. Yeah. So, oh, one more thing. I forgot. Um, I want to, I didn't mention, um, I did put this in the show notes, but I should have mentioned that uh, um, there was a screenshot I got. Yeah, this one. I got this from Scott Creighton. He created this. This is his work. And I he was uh, kind enough to give this to me. And um, he was a little surprised. He saw it. He, he'd forgotten, I think, maybe, or he'd forgotten that he'd um, sent this to me. But I want to thank him for this uh, screenshot that he gave me for the My Jamal video. So thank you, Scott. And... Uh, okay, so don't forget, don't forget to vote on the who did it better. I'll just remind you here. Okay, so who did it better? Let's go back. Oops, hang on, that's not it. Hang on, sorry. 
I might have lost that now. Anyway, never mind. I've I've lost it. Now. <laughs> Sorry. Oh no, I didn't. Wait a minute. Sorry. No, that's that's not it. Or yeah, never mind. Never mind. Anyway, so uh, that's my video. I'm gonna do more videos about Jamal. I've got more to say about Jamal, but I just wanted to talk about this similarity between Jamal and Tranny Stick Six Six Six. He's got a new name now. Okay, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, um, I'll talk to you again soon. Okay, bye.